Hello everyone and welcome to part 20 in this UNet tutorial series and in this video I'm going to set up a, a custom network manager so that I can have a really basic UI where I can start a host or connect to a host if I know the IP address. Uh, so I'll just make a new script and I'll call this uh, network manager custom and I guess I'll just attach it to the network manager and uh, pretty much uh, open it up and start editing. Okay, so I'm going to need using unity engine uh, dot networking and I'm also going to need uh, the UI. All right, and this is going to derive from network manager. So it's going, it's now, it is now a network manager already. By just doing this, it'll have all the same uh, methods as the network manager itself. And I'm actually not going to override any of the uh, inbuilt uh, methods. I'm just going to create a couple of my own and use them to start up a host or connect uh, to one. Uh, and the first one is going to be called uh, public void startup host. And uh, I'm going to make another function in just a bit, and it's going to be called set port. And in order to start a host, it's quite simple, but you have to pretty much use this code. And it is network manager dot singleton dot start host. So you can't just say start host directly, otherwise you get some really strange behavior. Uh, when you check the don't destroy and load, so there's some code in the background in this network manager that must be making it a unique instance, uh, pretty much. Uh, and I guess that's maybe why we have to uh, use this uh, singleton a bit over there. What exactly is happening? I don't know. Uh, all right, so I'll make the uh, set port function void set port and all I'm going to do is say network manager uh, dot singleton dot um, a network port is, and I'm just going to just set it here, just hard code it, some number um, that just four sevens. And uh, I'm going to have another function public void join game and and this, this is where I'm going to start the client. And I will have another function as well where I'll set the IP address. And uh, I'll set the port. And then I'm going to say uh, network manager dot singleton dot start client. Okay. Then I need to make this uh, the setup IP address function. And here I'm going to, it's going to be in the UI and input field. So I'm actually going to capture what's in the input field. String IP address is equal to game, whoops, turn on the caps lock, uh, game object dot find. Uh, and I'm going to call it input field IP address. And uh, then inside of that, I need to get the text so transform the find child oops wrong thing uh, text and then of course I need to get the component the text component itself uh, so text and then finally text okay so now I've got the text and I put it in a string and it's the IP address now I need to just set that so network manager dot singleton dot network address uh, is equal to the IP address. All right. Uh, and then uh, that's pretty much that uh, for those, but it's not ready. So uh, what I'll show you, maybe I will go ahead. Uh, should I? No, nah, maybe I will write the other. No, nah, it'll make less sense. I'll, I'll set up the network manager first uh, so I can get rid of this one, uh, the original. Let me just come back to that. There we go. Now I can remove the component, and now I will set up uh, this one. So these are checked, which is good. Uh, I need my scenes, so the menu scene. 
the main scene. I'll just leave that alone. I need the player prefab. I'll just change this to round robin so it uses a different spawn each time. Uh, and then just put in the zombie there, advanced configuration. Yes, I did change that. I changed this to unreliable. Pretty sure this is what I had. And the timeouts, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not using latency simulation anymore. Oh, well, whatever. Just set it there. Okay. Uh, so that's that set up. So I might as well set up my UI. Uh, so UI, I'll put in a panel just covering the whole screen at the moment. So I will center that. Um, it's already in the center, so I shouldn't have to set the position. Uh, I think another thing, I'm going to not say constant pixel size. I want it to scale with the screen size. So whatever the screen size is and the reference resolution, since I'm 1920 by 1080, I'll just set to that and 0.5 so that way It'll scale evenly, uh, regardless. Uh, all right, here I might just set that to like 600 by 500, and I'll add in uh, oops, some buttons just to duplicate this one, and I'll also add in an input field. Oh, but actually, you know what? I was thinking I might move the buttons manually, but yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I want to use a grid layout group. Uh, let me think, 400, what did I do before? Probably like 80 or something like that. 40, okay, and then I'm gonna just set to vertical, um, the alignment middle center. Okay, that's about right. And okay, now I'll add in the next bit, which is the input field. And then for each of these, I'll go through, put on best fit so that I can actually read it. And also the input field, best fit, same, whoops, and also for that. All right, and I need to name these. So I'm gonna give them some sensible names. Uh, this one, I'll call this button start post. And I guess I'll also set the text uh, to say start host. Okay. And this one will be called, uh, I guess, whoops, button join game. Yeah, button join game. Uh, makes sense. And I'll just call it join game. And for the input field, I'll call it input field. Well, I might as well go back to my script and just copy that because that is what the name is. And just put this here, IP address. And uh, for the text, I'm gonna give it some default text. I'm just gonna call it local host. So I'm not gonna bother using player prefs. I mean, you can do that to store the IP address entered. I'm just gonna just do that for a quick uh, usage. Okay, so uh, I think that's the UI set up in this scene. I do actually have to set up an item over in uh, the main scene as well. So maybe I will do that. Uh, I guess I better do that. I'm probably gonna forget. Uh, so in my canvas, once again, I guess I could change this now. I do have to set some stuff up. So scale with screen size. So let me just quickly, quickly set this up. So 1920. Uh, by it's all gonna get messed up now 1080 uh, set this to 0.5 and uh, it's all a bit too small now uh, it is on best fit so I just need to I need to edit it a little bit nah, I shouldn't edit that I should just edit this that's better that's smarter okay the health text again that 150 uh, the respawn button as well will be messed up uh, so I'll just put that to say uh, 300 by uh, say 60. Not sure. Maybe that's big enough. Maybe not. And turn on best fit. Respawn. Okay, and disable it again. And now I uh, I guess I'm gonna add a panel, a UI panel, right? And once again, uh, I'm not going to have it occupy the whole screen. I'm gonna set it, I'm setting it to the top right, and I'm gonna give it a, a specific size. Is that too big? Oops, I need to set the position. 
uh, oh, oops, I have to actually do that after. All right. Uh, anyway, oh, I'll just learn something. Okay. Uh, and then I need to add a button, so UI button, and this button might be this might be a bit occupying a bit too much of the screen, but uh, anyway. And I'm just gonna change that to best fit and change the text. Um, I guess I should say disconnect is what the text would be. Yeah, I think that's a bit too big. It's taking up too much space. All right, that's better. And this one also it needs the name like button disconnect because that's what I'm going to write in code. Button disconnect. All right, uh, I think that's it. I think I've edited all the stuff I needed to. At least now it will scale with screen size. So you can see what I mean by that. Uh, see, like it's just automatically scaling nicely depending on whatever the screen size and aspect ratio is. Uh, actually, this really should be like the default setting for the UI when I think about it, because it, that's what really makes sense for, I think, maybe most games. But anyway, coming back. Uh, all right. What else do I need to do? I think I've got that set up, so I just need to come back. No, I have not set up. Uh, so there is something I need to do. I need to add on an on-click uh, listener. Uh, so I'll drag in the network manager here. And the function to run is uh, start host. Let's see, where is that? Start of host, that, that's it. And for the uh, join game one as well. So drag in the network manager. And network manager, uh, join game. Now, uh, there's a reason why I have to write code now to add listeners manually. See, these are only going to work uh, the first time I start the game. So when I join the main scene, uh, for example, uh, the network manager will move across to it. And when I come back to this menu scene, uh, then what will happen is that uh, these references will be lost. So now I need to uh, establish them through code once the level is loaded up again, uh, that menu scene. And also, you know, I have to set the disconnect button too, because the disconnect button, there's no way for it to disconnect actually, you know, it's back in the main scene. Uh, there's no way for it to actually disconnect anything. There's no network manager here. So when the network manager, when the scene starts up and the net network manager comes here, I need to give it a listener. Uh, so that's what I need to establish through code. And uh, I guess that's what I'll do next. Um, so I'll make a new function here. Void on, this is a unity function. On, on level was loaded, so make sure to write it correctly. Uh, int level. And uh, I want to say if level is zero, so that's the menu scene. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another function here. So menu scene, set up menu scene uh, buttons. All right. Otherwise, else, then set up other scene uh, buttons, which in this case is just the, the disconnect button. So for void, set up menu scene buttons. Uh, I will write a bit of code actually. Uh, I'm going to say game object dot find. And I need to find button start host. So assuming I wrote it correctly, button start host dot get component. And it's the type button, of course, and on click dot remove all listeners. So this is another thing you need to do. Uh, otherwise, what will happen is when you go to the main scene, you come back to the menu scene and you go to the main scene, you come back. If I only had add listeners, it'll keep on adding another listener, another listener, and then that'll create a uh, pretty buggy mess and it won't work. You won't be able to uh, start a server anymore. Uh, okay, and so now that I've done that, let me just really just copy that. 
make my life a little bit easier and I type really slowly. Uh, so add listener. And that listener is, uh, is going to be a start up post. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, but for uh, another button, the other one, the join a game button. So button join game. I'll just copy that name there. Again, remove all listeners. And in this case, it's a just join game. All right. Uh, next, I'll write this function. So void. And once again, I'll just I'll just copy this code to make my life a bit easier. And this is the disconnect button. And in this case, uh, it's a little bit different. There is already an inbuilt stop uh, host function. So I'm going to say network manager dot singleton, oops, dot singleton dot stop host. And uh, I guess I'll just stop there. And I think that's it, actually. Uh, I've got my code set up. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, Oh, another thing I should do is to just turn off the HUD. I don't actually need that. And also, if you're typing, then you might accidentally activate the HUD stuff as well. But I can keep it there for, I guess, for other purposes. All right, looks like it's working. Let me disconnect. Try connecting again. And disconnect. All right, that's OK. Oh, just, just ignore the red stuff there. Just some unity stuff going on even with the hud uh, that sort of stuff appears i'm using uh, by the way 5.1.1.1 uh, patch 2 i think it is or something one of the patched uh, unity versions not one of the uh, usual release but one of the patch release versions so a pretty new version so some bugs are gone and others are are now showing themselves or maybe they were already there but just weren't appearing in the console okay so why don't i just uh, build that and just show that it's actually working to myself so I'll start a host okay uh, I guess start this join game yep there we go so local host worked uh, when did the zombies come oh there they are all right so let me try disconnecting I'll try joining again and uh, that looks like it's working actually Again, I'll try. Mm, that's pretty good. Uh, once again, I'll just disconnect here. Uh, I'll start a host again, just to make sure that it, you're able to disconnect and reconnect repeatedly. And it looks like it's working. So this is uh, this is pretty good. Um, let me just wait for them. All right, that's good. So disconnect, disconnect. Now I'll try starting a host in the editor and join here. Uh, looks like that's working. And uh, just wait for the zombies to spawn. Just make sure that is working correctly. Okay, there they are. Okay. And once again, just one more time, just to make sure. And that is, in fact, working. Okay, so that's working. Now, this, this setup is going to work um, as well if you are connecting using Hamachi, for example. Uh, what you need to do is, of course, so it's not a Hamachi tutorial or anything. You just need to, you have to, of course, uh, download Hamachi, install it, whatever, set up a network. So, you know, create a network. You have to sign in and all that sort of stuff. Create a network. And then you need to tell people who can connect to you, uh, well, people you want to connect to you. You need to tell them what your network name is, your network ID, and what the password is if you have a password. So once they know that, they can then connect to your Hamachi network. Then you need to copy this IP uh, v4 address, uh, this IP address, and send it to them. And that's what they need to uh, type in here. That's what they need to put in here. Uh, so whatever it might be, uh, they need to type it in and then hit join game. Well, because they're in the Hamachi, your Hamachi network, that'll work. So it's like you have a public IP address, and then uh, they'll be able to connect and uh, play with you. All right, uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.